through my walk and this. Although windy, pretty darn nice to walk over the water. Get that fresh air. It's a mix of fresh water and seawater. Very close to the beach, so I'm still getting those ocean ions, even though I'm not right next to the ocean. So, as I'm walking today, I'm going to say hi. Of course, one of my main reasons to go on my walks, besides the fact that it's healthy and I need that for my health, my exercise. Hopefully the wind is not drowning my voice out. Let me know if the wind's too much because then I'll just turn this off. It's not helping that I'm right in the middle of the water. <laughs> As you can see, it'll probably die down a little bit when I get off the water, which will be soon um, off the water directly. Anyway, the other reason why I like to walk is to shake off the energy and shake off, <clears throat> shake off the energy of whatever, wherever you were going in your dream, dream state, whatever people are in your energy, whatever people and situations are attaching to your energy. There's a lot going on in your energy that you probably don't realize. And I know this because I'm all about energy. It's just like one of the things that I have mastered and continue to master. I don't believe we all, all get all the way there. We're always learning. But I've learned a lot given that is my work. I do healings for a living and have for over 20 years. And even when I take people on spiritual journeys, I, it's very intentional where I'm taking them, where we're visiting, because it has to do with healing and leveraging the energies that we're working on, whether we're healing or shifting or upgrading our energy, whatever it is. So what I was thinking about today as I was walking was the deeper you heal, the greater you manifest. And it's so true, you know, it really depends on how willing you're, you are to look at your stuff, how willing you are to face your issues. And number one, not be in denial. Number two, be willing to look at them. Number three, be willing to consider a lot of different aspects, possibilities, truths, and, and be willing to be open-minded enough to explore your issues, to see what your part is in them, to see how other people play within them and, you know, why you're even in them. But, you know, some people will look, you know, want to see it. They might want to clear stuff to open up their manifesting more, to better their relationships, to better their life in some way, to feel better. It's usually so you feel better. That's the bottom line live better, gain more of what you want, live the life you came to live, all those things. But what I noticed with people and many clients, not all my clients, but many of them, I'd say, if I say 90%, that's being gen generous. It's probably more like 93, 95%. 
well, are only willing to look so far. Why? Because that would mean they'd need to change. Because bettering anything in your life is, it requires you to change. It, whether it's a mindset, whether it's a belief, whether it's letting someone go that you know darn well is not creating um, a healthy environment for you or the happiest that you could be. You may want to cling to these people for whatever reasons and not, you know, put yourself first and do what you need to do to better yourself. And then you'll be in better relationships. People like to cling to what they have, cling to what they know and ignore, you know, what, how they could better themselves, better them, their lives. So it's pretty often that people will come for healings and really do a lot of work. But do they apply all the steps that they need to take to participate in the healing? And at some point, they'll stop doing healings because they haven't dealt with the stuff they need to deal with. It'll keep coming up or they're just not willing to advance their life as far as they could. They go as far as they can and then they stop where they stop for whatever reasons. So that means you will get better at what you attract in your life. Your life will get better to a certain extent, but then it'll level out again. And the way to know if there are things you still need to work on is to know if you're truly living a meaningful, fulfilled life. And of course that can, you know, vary up and down. We're humans. We have our good times. We have our bad times, but when you, do have a lot of meaning and fulfillment in your life, even through the good and bad, you see that and you know that. And another way to know is how much drama are you dealing with? Like how much drama comes into your experience with other people? Even if you say, well, they have drama, they're drama. Well, it's in your experience though. <laughs> So you have it too. And um, you can't like say, just because the drama has to do with your partner or your friend or your kids, it's also attached to you. There's something that you're involved in, in this drama. And there's definitely something that you need to heal within yourself with these outside dramas. And, Believe me, if you're seeing it in the people around you, then you're also dealing with, with it in your own life. You've got to have some level of drama yourself going on. So the, the deeper you can go in your own healing, the greater your manifesting can be. And how deep do you go? Like, what does that mean, deeper? So there's all kinds of levels to healing. And when you first start doing healing with yourself, obviously it's going to be your day-to-day -day stuff, your current life stuff, what's happening right now. That's the first level because that's what you're involved in. And then as you start working through that, it starts going wider and deeper. So it starts going into your relationships, Again, whether it's love or family or friends or your work or a relationship is everything. Your relationship with money, your relationship with health, your relationship with happiness, your relationship with healing, your relationship with everything, how you see your day every day, your relationship with how you wake up every day and what you think and where your mind is. 
So it goes into all of that. And not only does it go into that, it goes deeper into all of those things. So you can imagine how much healing you could really do. So after that, well, you'll continue doing all of these things. You don't just go from one layer to the next and not st and stop working on all those layers. No, you just continue with how it's actually what whatever is a lot of motorcycles going by whatever's going deeper and wider affects the surface level stuff so it, it's all connected where you are today is a result of where you've been and who you've interacted with and what you've entertained and what you've been available to in your life not only that, let's go deeper. So once you start working through those levels, you go into the family line, your parents, and that could also include te old teachers from your past, um, leaders that you were supposed to look up to that affected you, but your family line not only your mother and father and aunts and uncles and all that happened with them and how that has come up through your dna to affect you but their family line so you've got your mother's family line so her parents you got your father's family line their parents and then that continues through their family line and then of course their parents' parents and your father's parents' parents. Like, think about, I have an actual graphic that I saw that someone wrote, like really showing the dimensions of family line, what you're dealing with. And because you're connected to all of these people, all of these family lines, whether you know them or not, you have their DNA in you. So, I can't even see the screen, by the way, so I have no idea. I wasn't planning on coming live, so my, I don't have my selfie stick. I'm just holding my arm up. Anyway, you have their DNA in you, all of your family line, from the very beginning, whenever that was, in whatever country that was, countries, in whatever cultures those were you may not even have a concept of really all of the places and all the cultures and all the mindsets and all the traumas and all the belief systems that are rolled up into your dna that are affecting you and even if you have like say siblings all of your dna will have all the dna but every person will have a different amount of DNA of certain aspects. Like it's not gonna be the same, like you'll have the same DNA, but let's just like, okay, you might have different issues from that DNA than your sister might. You might be living different aspects. So everybody's different. And then we continue to pass that stuff on to our kids and then their kids and so on and so forth. So in family line and ancestral healing is another deeper and wider level of healing that the more you heal, the greater you can manifest. And why is that? Because there's blockages, there's traumas, there's karma, there can be, you can have your own karma, you can have family karma. Could be curses in your family line. All of these things could be filtrating into your life. Oh, and let's not forget, you know, I, I say past life, but I believe everything happens at one time. So all your aspects of all your lives, you know, what you're dealing with, what your soul's been through, you know, all the aspects of you. You know, a lot of times in my dream state, 
I see my other lifetimes and I recognize them. Hello. Because um, I see that, you know, the same, those lifetimes, like they're familiar to me. Like I see them in my dreams here and there. So I know that those are me, my soul, you know, experiencing my other lifetimes and I'm seeing them when I'm in my sleep state. And I see issues in there. I might even have some of the same people in those other lifetimes that I have in this lifetime. But we could be operating in complete different ways with each other. So weird. But that goes to show that, you know, how you're operating with somebody in this lifetime is, could be completely different from how you operate with them in another lifetime. So how do you think that's affecting your relationship in this lifetime? It's definitely affecting it. I mean, you're going to have a lot of conflicted energies in there where you can't figure out what is it that I can't get over this person or, you know, I can't leave this person or can't understand this person. Like they're showing me this, but I feel something different. And I don't know why, like you start thinking you're crazy, but it could very well be that you have multiple lifetimes going on at the same time and it's affecting you. So this is why it's really to your benefit to get healings, whether you do it yourself, if you can do it, great. If you need help, seek the help if, if it, there's something in your life that you really want to fix, you want to get better at, if you want to live a more fulfilling life, a more meaningful life, whatever it is, you want more freedom, you want more love, you want more money, you want more better health, whatever those things are, everybody has their things. There's so much more to you than you realize. And if you don't address it, you're going to live your life, you know, wanting the same things, wondering why you didn't get it, you know, wondering why, you know, other people seem to have it easier than you do, um, which is probably not true. We should never be comparing our lives to anybody else's because you don't walk in their shoes. And even if it looks like, oh man, they got it good. You don't know what it took for them to get to where they are. For sure, it took some healing. It probably took some, you know, and the thing is, if you don't work on your healing, then things will happen to you to make you shift. If there's things you're really wanting in your life, but you're not doing anything to, you know, upgrade yourself to attain it, and you keep asking for it, the universe always has to give, is working to give you what you're asking for. So it always, it always means you got to change something. If you don't have it, there's something that you need to change. And if you don't change it, something will happen to make you change it. So that's not good. Because <laughs> usually it comes in the way of, well, I won't say it's not good. It's what happens to make it happen, but it's usually not pleasant. So some examples of things that will force you to change, you have bad health. Someone leaves you. You lose something. Um, you have a, some sort of crisis or trauma or major life upheaval. And when those things happen, it's because I want, I, you know what, I, I'll say, I would say for sure, but I'll just leave a little room. It's usually for sure because you haven't done something to change and you keep asking for something that requires change. That's why those things happen. Besides the point, if you weren't, if you like, okay, there's another aspect. If you just tend to be negative all the time, if you tend to always see, oh, that's change and that makes me mad. 
and you're just always, you know, like complaining, ungrateful. You don't see, you don't keep in your mind that things happen for good reasons. You know, all you do is see the bad and everything. All you do is expect everything to be hard or a challenge. Then, yeah, you're going to get all that for sure. I mean, help yourself out a little bit. Be grateful as much as possible. Be thankful and appreciative as much as possible. Believe that things are always happening for you to, to maybe, you know, save you from something happening. You know, say your flight was canceled and, you know, it really inconvenienced you. You don't know, maybe that plane was going to crash. Like, you know, you got to trust, trust that the universe is helping you. Trust the process. Trust what's happening in your life is happening for good. Because if you only see negative and focus on, you know, what, that that's wrong and that's bad and it's inconveniencing you, you know what, <laughs> expect a lot more of that because it's going to happen. So there's that. Hopefully you're not in that realm. Hopefully you're not. Um, what we're talking about here is healing. And we all need it. And going back to what I said when I first got on this live, unexpectedly, was not planning on coming on live. I had to, I did not feel like walking today. But my energy felt ravaged this morning, not in a good way. Like it just felt, I don't know, like didn't feel good. Felt uneasy. Um, yeah, it just felt agitated. I can't even really put words to it. It wasn't like stress or anger or anything like that. It was just, it didn't feel smooth. <laughs> And I knew that if I didn't go out and walk and shake this off, that my day was going to be filtered through that energy. And I did not want a day like that. No, I did not want a day like that. I want to have a productive day. I want to feel energized. I want to feel clear minded. So as I was going on my walk, I was just like, I mean, it's kind of good that it's windy because I just like, you know, blow away, clear my energy, reset my energy, get present with myself, be here now, feel myself like, yes, I'm present, I'm walking, taking up my space, cleaning up my energy. And then once you, you know, affirm that you're clearing your energy, then what energy do you want to replace that with? Because whenever you release something, it's important to replace it with something that you prefer. Otherwise, you leave a void in your energy. And when you leave a void in your energy, it'll try to grab back what you released. So you don't want that. So. You know, I want a centered day, I want a clear, clear day, clarity, get this, I have, you know, paperwork that I need to look at today, I want to get that done. And if you watched my, I think last video, it was about with ease or things being easy. So that's like one of the main things I'm focusing on lately is... You know, I don't enjoy doing paperwork, but I'm saying, you know what? It's going to be easy. It's going to go with ease. I'm going to get it done. Be off my plate. I don't have to worry about that. And, you know, just kept affirming how my day, how my mentality and how I'm approaching my day is. And it just really resets you. So, yeah, that was on my mind about the deeper you're willing to heal, the greater your manifesting is. 
And where do you think you're stopping that process? Where are you unwilling to shift things in your life, release things in your life, upgrade things in your life because of what you think that might entail? And also know that maybe it doesn't entail the worst case scenario that you might be thinking. Maybe there's another way to deal with it. You know, I had somebody ask me like, should I leave my, you know, where I'm living, the people I'm living with because it just doesn't feel good there. I have problems with them. And you know what? It's never great to run away from your problems because guess what? You run, but they're still with you. You'll just manifest the same issues wherever you go. You're still not happy no matter what because you haven't dealt with it. It's better to see where you need to make changes in your life because they might be acting not great, but it most likely is because you're not acting great yourself. You're just being honest. There's something in you that you need to change because everybody has low negative energy and everybody has high, beautiful, divine energy. And it's where you're meeting them that you are going to see them. So if you can meet them at higher levels, you're opening up the opportunity to deal with them see them and experience them at higher levels. So just moving or running away is not the answer because you still haven't fixed the issue. So how willing are you to go deeper into your healing? How willing are you to look deeper and deeper and move through these things. And I'll tell you one thing, if you don't do it in this lifetime, surprise, <laughs> you probably come back in another lifetime to deal with it again. So either you keep moving or you keep staying and your next lifetime will pick up where you left off. So you don't get out of it. You don't get out of it. You don't get out of it. So how fast or how slow do you want to savor your situations? That's pretty much it. So anyway, that's what's been on my mind on my walk today. And I just thought I'd turn on the live and share it with you. And going to turn you around, but actually I can't even see the screen that well. So I'll just do it like this. It's a beautiful day, even though it's windy. See the boats? Hopefully you can see them. I don't know what you're seeing. A lot of boats lately. And... Yep, this is like the typical sort of winterish weather we get here. And I guess that's it. I will, I don't know if anybody's commented because I can't even see the screen. Um, so I will look at it later when I get home. I think I still have about a half a mile to walk. Did almost five miles today and uh, hopefully that's something for you to sit with and think about and just know there's help for you that's this is the work I do that's why I mean my my intuition and my mastery at energy and you know the thousands and thousands and thousands of healings I've done I know how to make the connections I know how to go wide, I know how to go deep. I know my guides show me, I have a whole healing team that shows me 
what's most important for you to work on or release. And you know what? You may know some things, but how about the things you don't know? Because there's a lot of those that you're not aware of. And uh, the things you don't know are the things that are most likely the things biting you in your butt, keeping you from what you want. Besides, if you're not willing to do what it takes to heal these things. So anyway, you guys have a great day. Catch up with you later. This is just like a impromptu live. Totally wasn't planning to come on here. So anyway, have a great day. Peace.